Hi, it's me again with Corel Golf Tips and Tricks. Uh, kind of a friend of mine I've met at a couple of trade shows, and she didn't ask for a video. She just asked for me to uh, guidance to a video, and I don't really have anything like this. Uh, this is the state of New Hampshire, and it's just any shape of the state. It's not even a good one, but it is pretty big. I'm not even going to do anything to it. I'm just going to outline traits and clip art. All I, I don't care how fuzzy it is or whatever. I just want that right there. Because this, you can see the bounty box. This is not. I am going to take a rectangle, which I do a lot, and fill that in. I just want the outside of the shape of the, of the state. By doing that, now I can take my smart fill. I'll use a different color. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to fill in the shape. And now I have the shape. And I am going to left click, right click, and I've got an outline. She is going to cut the back out of an acrylic and the front out of wood and paste them together. So we need to put a ring up there, but I'm not going to take the time. That would just be adding a ring. So here's your base shape of your item. Um, you know, this is quite large. You're going to size it to whatever size you want. And then we need to, I would... Uh, you know, this is like, let's, let's make it smaller, realistic for an ornament. Let's say it's six inches by 3.5. So I'm going to set my nudge factor on four. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that guy and move it over. This is going to be our copy for our border. Now, uh, the one I'm doing it for is just going to be uh, pretty little to do a little bit of a contour, but it can be done. Um, this looks like eighth inch, maybe plywood or something, then stained. Uh, go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour to the inside. I'm going to say point one. We're going to see what that looks like. That's probably not enough. Let's go point two. But I'm also going to use rounded corners to kind of take the, the bite off some of those corners. Then, so now go with object and break the contour part this what i would do is take the smart fill tool and fill that in that's going to be your border and then i would left click right click it's a little bit it might burn away it's so little and everything now i think these flowers would be better uh, i just picked some flowers off the internet that are kind of uh, all grouped together and you don't want too many because they're going to burn away because this is pretty small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get them in there shape-wise. I'm actually going to mirror them the other way, kind of get them going that way. Maybe even level them on the bottom of the, bottom of the stake. Ah, and you could do this by, you know, rotating 185, you know, 175. Kind of minutely move it 180 79 there you go now we really want an outline of this we're not going to do anything to it so i'm going to go uh, we can do it two ways we can break the curve apart and then we can use the boundary tool that's going to put a boundary around it but this is so little for the one i'm doing it for this is so little uh, some of these things are going to burn away so pick a better plant and then just bring it in there. And you could weld this very easily, but I would just take my virtual segment delete key and delete that. I've got something weird going on right there, but that's that's fine. And then take your smart fill tool and fill that in and use that for your top layer. That way it's all kind of glued together. And if we take this one and hit P, put it in the center of the page, center of the page, um, move our state out of the way. That's what it's going to look like. And if we, let's do this. Let's move one of them out of the way. And let's say you're going to use a oh, light colored green on that one. And then this wood's going to be a maybe a brown. Yeah, a little browner than that. You know, whatever stain color you use or paint. And then move it over there, put them both in the center of the page 
and you have that ornament. Now, like I said, some of these little bitty facets are going to, you might want to smooth it out before um, you do all the other work. Because, um, you, you know, this line, when you're working with something that little, uh, you're going to get a lot of, unless it's really thin material, you're going to get a lot of burn, a lot of, on these little bitty tips. So you could take the smoothing tool, set on something pretty big, and just kind of smooth out. You know, you're still going to get the shape of the steak, but you're going to be a lot cleaner, and it, it'll make it'll make life easier for everything. Uh, your your acrylic and your wood, because now we're going to go back and we're going to contour, you know, the wood part. And I'll, I kind of like what they did on the, um, with the hanger, is that the hanger isn't part of the cover. I made it a little bit bigger. So you just do it a little bit, just a little bit, just to take off some of that. It's still going to be the shape of the state. It just doesn't have the exact boundaries. And the, and the clip art you pick might not have that many boundaries. But then what I would do is, let's put a hanger on it real quick. Let's see, that's still pretty big for an ornament, but let's just go ahead and put a hanger on it, and I'll kind of show you what you could do with the wood. And these, please take these as my suggestions and not like I'm some sort of ornament guru. Um, you know, make your ribbon size whole. And then what I would do for the wood uh, see, that would make a pretty good deal. So I would smart fill that. And what that does, it, it puts it all into one shape. But then I'd left click, right click. And I would try to get, stop the wood from coming in there. Uh, like they had on the ornament itself. See how it, it kind of dips down. And, and maybe I should have not, you know what, that'd probably be a better idea. Uh, don't change the shape of this, the shape of the stake. Um, add the ornament a little higher so it doesn't take away from the shape of the stake. And then uh, probably be better to control D and make a duplicate, and then bring in your center circle, and then just delete through here. But before you do that, what I would do is take my, that right there and nudge that over. So that's going to be your wood shape. Fill this in. This is going to be your acrylic shape. When you left click, right click, of course, you'd want it in red hairline. But then you could take the wood shape, left click, right click, go to effects and contour. And see, this way it kind of mimics around that. And that's going to be, and then I would always smart fill it. By smart filling, you know, you have to take away the, the um, contour. Well, you, I guess you do. Uh, let's break the, make sure to break the contour part and make both those red hairlines we're cutting out. And then this piece is going to just fit nicely right there. And then fill that in with your magical brown colored wood or whatever color you pick. So that's what it's going to look like. And then if we, if we nudge this out of the way and the hoop goes with it because we smart filled it, and let's say you're just going to use a light yellow for the background and then you put that go up to object order back a page that's what your ornament's going to look like minus the flowers but uh just remember to pick a thick flower because these could well you know as long as they don't burn away you can kind of lightly glue them to that back anyway i hope that helped her a little bit thank you for watching